Okay guys, we're doing a bit of a road trip here. It's Ivan Susan here from Vloggers on the Loose, by the way. Um, so we're gonna go up to Geraldton, have a look there, but we're gonna also stop off at a few different places in between and um, look around. So we're on the Tonkin Highway now, heading from our place in the northern suburbs. And um, we'll turn on to the Brand Highway and then cut into the, um, the very notorious Ocean Drive and hopefully we survive that because um, I don't know what's going on on Ocean Drive but a lot of people have accidents there there's been a few fatalities also so we'll stop up at a few places on the way and we'll see you at the first destination when we get there on the roads again guys this guy in front of me uh, he overtook me knowing very well that there's a slow moving truck there he overtook on a bend and about I don't know 10 seconds later a car came in the opposite direction uh, a couple of young guys in this car over here driving like a bunch of idiots don't know why because the speed limit here is 110 and I'm sitting on 102 because of the truck. So, you know, you have to just have patience because I certainly don't want to be there mopping up a couple of dead dickheads on the road. So I'll continue going if they have an accident. I know you're supposed to stop, but Jesus Christ, you know, you, common sense comes into this. I'm on holidays, guys. I don't want to be stopping at the scene of an accident. There's a little bit of the Australian outback, guys. We passed, we're just coming up to a place called Regan's Ford. It's just a roadhouse. Roadhouses, for those of you who don't know, from uh, for those of you from overseas, they just a uh, little. Um, petrol station we or and usually it has food and that and resting area where you can stretch your legs have a cup of coffee have a cold drink and not a not an alcoholic drink and uh, then take off again so it's virtually a petrol station with a um, some sort of eatery attached to it There's a caravan here in front of us guys. He's doing a decent speed for a caravan. I'll, I'll overtake him on the next um, overtaking lane. It said, I think we've only got a couple of kilometers to go then there's an overtaking lane. These are dedicated overtaking lanes for those of you watching from overseas. So it's easier just to overtake on these dedicated overtaking lanes so guys there it is there it says overtaking lane 300 meters ahead so I've got a slow moving caravan in front of me and a guy with a trailer I think he might overtake and these overtaking lanes are the best way to keep alive guys so here it is here so it, it virtually forms three lanes over here, so I'm going to go over here, I'm in the overtaking lane because they go on for quite a long time, these overtaking lanes. So um, it's the best way to stay alive. So you wait for an overtaking lane to come across, you get across straight away to your left side in case there's other faster moving cars want to overtake you. In this case there isn't. But I've got to cross anyway, so you can see the overtaking lane still going. The 
it's quite a long lane and you can see the arrows on the road here yeah, telling me I need to merge because now it forms one one lane here yeah? so easy and and I've stayed alive and all these other these are on the highways in Perth so or in Western Australia so um, Hopefully those two clowns in their tiny little car are still alive and I don't run into them somewhere along here with the overturned car. But um, I'm sure the authorities will agree with me. That's the easiest way to stay alive. There will be a few people disagreeing with me and saying, ah, it's all right, mate, I'll overtake wherever I want to. That's fine also. This is the Caterby Road, our skies. We've just stopped here to stretch our legs. And all the damn trucks I um, overtook have, have gone past. So I've got to overtake them all again. That's alright. We, we're in no rush. Yeah, There's just a few. This uh, Caterby Road, ours has got a big bird cage over here. And um, there's quite a few birds in here. I don't think you can see it because um, this mesh is in the way. This is the township of Caterby here, uh, guys. And it just says reduce speed. So I'm just slowing down a little bit. If you, if you blink, you'll miss it. There it is. It's got a little motel over there. There's a few houses in there somewhere, but that's it. Back to 110 kilometres. There's some of those um, windmills out there, guys. I forget what they're called. And, um, turbines. That's it. The turbines. There they are. There you see quite a few of them along here. Yeah? And there's just a a nice view there of the countryside and I uh, overtook that truck before but when we stopped off for a break I saw him go past us he's probably wondering what's going on but uh, we're going to turn off shortly anyway to head to the coast This here is the notorious Indian Ocean Drive. Now, this is where a lot of fatalities have happened along this um, Indian Ocean Drive and a lot of bad accidents. Now, I'm not seeing why. I don't know why. It looks like a fairly decent road. Well, it must be inattention. I don't know. It looks like a decent road. It looks like exactly the same type of road that we just came off, which was the Brown Highway. So, um, okay, there's a few more bends in this road, but they slight bends. It's just sort of a time. Here's a bend over here. Nothing, nothing really to be concerned about. I'm still doing over 100 kilometres. I think the speed limit here is 110. I'm doing about 103. So, um, you know, because there's a few cars in front of me there and um, they towing things and that, so I'm not, I'm not interested in the least in overtaking. That, that's all the, also the problem, you know, because I can overtake here, because this dotted line says I can overtake if there's no cars coming. But I'm not going to because I'm not interested. So, um, 
you can see why the people have accidents because um, they're probably doing stupid things on the road. Someone would have probably overtook there and here's a car coming towards us here and they would have probably had a good old head on and no one would have survived. So I'll just go, give you a little rundown on, um, on the notorious Indian Ocean Drive in Western Australia. coming to our next little stop guys and it's called Green Head so it's just off Indian Ocean Drive so we'll just head up this road over here and have a look at Green Head and let you guys see what that's all about it's the township here guys of Green Head it's quite modern it's got quite a few new houses through here looks quite nice water tank over there. I don't know if the camera can pick that up. And it says tennis club over there, so they've got a tennis club in here. The houses look quite new. It's quite nice through here. We've got a police check over here. I don't know if they're going to pull me over. Doesn't look like they are. They've got someone there, you can see him sitting down on the ground, he's pretty drunk by the looks of it. They've pulled him over and his car's parked on the side. He looks quite remorseful, shall we say. I would never have known that they'd have a police um, checkpoint through yeah but anyway they have guys this is called uh, dynamite bay and it's in greenhead the greenheads usually um i can't believe there's such a lot of people here to be honest because it's very blowy out here it's always quite blowy out here and there's always a lot of seaweed you can see all the seaweed over there in the water so um Mind you, there's not a lot of people swimming. They just saw on the beach over there. As you can see over there, also a lot of people on the beach. And all the seaweed over there. There's a few people in canoes over there. Because it's quite a, a sheltered bay area here. Yeah, you can see the limestone um, rocks on both sides over there. But it's always very blowy over here in Green in Greenhead. Years ago, years ago when we came down here, um, we nearly got blown away. Guys, we're in the um, Port Denison slash Dongre area. And um, this here is a giant lobster over here. And um, I thought um, Durian Bay was renowned for its lobsters or the king of the lobster um, area. But uh, Dongre is actually the, the major lobster um industry in australia it's massive apparently over here the problem is guys they import all these lobsters at a fairly reasonable price i'm going to have my whinge of the day guys <laughs> and uh, they sell it to us for a bloody fortune so we never ever get to eat lobsters because they're too expensive over here in wa but if you go to america or japan you can eat our lobsters for fairly cheap so um, we'll, we will, um, what we'll do is we'll take you guys through the town of, um, of, uh, Don of Dongra and also on the coast over there and just have a quick look around. We'll see you there shortly. It's just a bit of the town centre here guys of um, Dongra. This is one of the main streets going through Dongra over here. That's the heading towards Port Denison area now. And this is the Irwine River that we're crossing. 
is um, Dongra slash Port Denison is at the um, at the mouth of the Irwin River. Irwin River. There's a supermarket over there called Food Works, a little shopping shopping area in here actually. Guys, check this house out over here. This is on the uh, opposite the marina in uh, Dongra slash Port Denison because they sort of blend into one. I don't know where one ends and where one begins. So uh, we'll just walk down the street over here. I don't think that big house was there before when we came here. We came here a couple of years ago and I don't think that was there. There's, there's one of the old original houses over there guys. It looks a bit um, looks a bit run down. Here's a park over here called Lions Park, established in 1984, and that's the marina across the road there, guys. Shall we head down there and have a look? So uh, we'll head down here have a little look at the marina. There's a lot of boats out there. There's a massive catamaran out there. And see it over there. And it's quite blowy over here guys. It's, it's got quite cloudy out here. It was clear skies when we left Perth and clear skies in, um, in the last town we went to, um, Durian Bay. But uh, it's quite cloudy out here, quite cool also. And look at that, there's a few people swimming in there, a few kids swimming in there. This looks quite good. And there, right across the road there guys, that's a pub over there. We actually had lunch there once, it was quite good. Guys, so this here is the shopping, uh, another shopping centre here in Donga. There's an IGA in there, and a bottle, bottle, bottle shop. Obviously, it's um, for all your alcoholic needs over here. So we'll just take a little walk around the the town centre over here, guys. It's quite busy over here. Quite, quite a lot of cars lurking around. There's a hotel across the road there, guys. That's a pretty good hotel. We actually stayed in there when we came here a couple of years ago. That, that hotel's always, that um, outdoor area there for uh, Alfresco Dining, that's always busy. Always busy in there. Anyone can go in there and eat. You don't have to be a guest of the hotel. And there's just a few uh, specialty shops and stuff uh, down here. That wind's really picked up, guys, um, and got really cloudy, like I said. Here's a few more. Um, little specialty shops here. We're in Dongra in um, Western Australia. That's a Morton Bay fig tree over there. We've filmed enough of them for you guys. You can see all the figs squashed on the ground here and there's another little shop in there. Look at the root system on this tree. It's a beauty. Look at that. So Dongra is quite a lively spot, guys. There's a lot, a lot of things over here. There's another little shopping, little shopping area in here. Look at this. There's all sorts of stuff in here. There's a chemist in there. There's a chicken place in there. There's a real estate agent and a post office. So 
And what do you guys think of Dongra in Western Australia? About, um, oh, it'll be close, uh, 300 kilometers from Perth. We're 300, over 300 kilometers from Perth, north of Perth. So that's the town centre, guys. So we'll um, take you to the next entrance um, area of Dongra and show you around there. There's actually a, a race course over here, guys, in the middle of Dongra. Now, I'm not sure if it's still operational, but the lawn looks like it's been all slashed and that. So I'm not sure if it's still operational, but it's pretty big. So that's another little aspect of uh, Dongra over here. Pretty cool race course. So guys, this here is just one of the residential areas of Dongra. Um, the land's not too badly priced out here, guys. It starts at about 130000 and you can get ocean views for that price. The ocean's just over there. We're standing on a block over here that's actually for sale. And the ocean's just over there because the land over here is quite high. So um, starting at 130000 and I, I don't think it goes much over 200000 guys. I think the front row ones are a bit more expensive. The ones right on the front. Not 100% sure. But because this wasn't going to be a real estate video, it's just going to show you guys uh, the trip up to um, up to Geraldton and what's out here. But look at the um, quality of houses out here, guys. Just swing the camera around and look at the quality of houses. Pretty good houses out here. A lot of double story ones, obviously, to take advantage of the ocean views and that. So that's. Um, that's the trip. That's um, the suburb of um, Dongra slash Port Gen Denison, and we'll head off to um, Geraldton now. Our last stop. See those trees over there, guys? How they've been? Um, how they leaning right over? Just about falling over. Well, that's caused by the wind. Because the wind over here is very, very strong, and there's a lot of them like that. The wind. That's how they grow. They're still healthy and alive and everything. You can see a few yells though. I don't know if the camera can pick that up. There's a few in there that are very, that all leaned over. There's one there. There's another tree over here, guys. Just about blown right, touching the ground over there. Look at that. That's a beauty. Still healthy and alive. It's just the wind. Because, see the, the, um, hills over there that's the oceans just over those hills so the wind howls through here it really blows very strong yeah well, guys we've um, sort of come into Geraldton now we're on the outskirts and um, what we're going to do is we're going to make a, 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 a full video on Geraldton on its own so um, that was sort of the end of the road trip as we come into Geraldton because Geraldton such a huge area, such a huge uh, city, it's a city these days. Um, we'll make a full video on Geraldton on, on its own. So I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video on the road trip. And um, please don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. And we'll see you in the next one.